today I'm gonna tell you the five things I did to lose 18 pounds in seven days without breaking the bank. The fifth one is gonna blow your mind. First thing, coffee. Why coffee? Well, it boosts your metabolism and that means that whenever you're chilling, like sitting down, your body's like, which is cool. Also reduces the feelings of hunger. Now, research says that you shouldn't use this alone as a solution for weight loss, but I found it to be a major contributing factor to my losing weight over such a short period of time. Another interesting tidbit is that you don't really need caffeinated coffee, and you can actually use decaf, and it has the same effect. So if your body responds negatively to caffeine, you might wanna consider using decaf. So I'm not a heavy coffee drinker, but I decided to have half a cup of coffee in the morning and half a cup of coffee at noon. This was always black coffee. And at first I was like, oh man, coffee, this is great. I really don't drink this. But over time it got to be less delicious. So what I did is I added in a little bit of Himalayan pink salt to give it an extra kick. And that helped me get through the week. Item number two, fasting, or should I say extreme fasting. My approach was intermittent fasting with intermittent fasting. Let me break it down. Intermittent fasting is where you eat and then you don't. It's really not a diet plan as more of an approach or style of eating. The common pattern that I've seen is where people eat for eight hours a day and then they don't eat for 16 hours. This is known as the 16-8 method. Intermittent fasting has gotten a good rap because it causes your body to change from using sugar as energy to start using fat. This also helps ward off diabetes and obesity and those guys, they suck. With intermittent fasting, I took a modified approach. This is sometimes called the warrior diet because you're a warrior since you're only eating for four hours out of the day. Now this wasn't the only approach I took to intermittent fasting because I wanted to, once again, accelerate my weight loss. So I had a four hour feeding window on one day and then the following day I did not eat at all. And I continued this cycle throughout the week. My eating schedule is shown here. Notice that I ate every other day. I know, I know, I know this sounds extreme because it is. And this is not a diet plan or eating style that I would encourage for any long period of time. This was only for seven days so that I could lose as much weight as possible, but I would not do this after seven days. Now on the days I wasn't eating, I had a ton of water and a ton of coffee. So let's remember that. This brings us to the third item on the list, exercise. Here I had an exercise routine where I exercised for 40 minutes a day, every day of the week, at home. My exercise routine consisted of this. I would focus on one muscle group very intensely for 10 minutes. Then for the following 10 minutes, I'd focus on another muscle group. Then after that, I would focus on abs and calves. And after that, I would stretch for 10 minutes. So that equals 40 minutes a day, every single day. My goal here was to push myself as much as possible during each exercise while ensuring that I stayed hydrated. That was critical. Coffee helps as well and I made sure to work out about 30 minutes after I had my first half cup of coffee. I'm not gonna go into my exercise routine in detail because it's gonna vary for each person. Some people, they have neck problems. Some people, they have knee problems. Now, if you're curious about how to find the best at-home workouts, I follow this YouTuber who provides excellent at-home workouts for free, and you can set up a playlist under his channel. His channel is Anabolic Aliens. Now you don't need to do all of this, but as long as you're being active and going outside, riding a bike, walking around, that helps out a lot, especially if you're incorporating a structure such as intermittent fasting, as well as a exercise routine. And if you have a computer job where you're sitting in front of the computer all day, I would encourage you to set up your work area so that you are standing instead of sitting. That's how I have my setup structured where I have a laptop on top of a bunch of boxes. So whenever I'm getting down to work, I'm not sitting and that helps out tremendously. This is really important because sitting, it sucks. Now getting to the good stuff, food. 
it's a thing. And the fourth item on our list. The main focus of my diet was to have a low calorie, high protein, low carb diet. Didn't really care too much about fats. I don't know, maybe I should have, but didn't care. But I'll go into what I ate each day. I also have a Google Sheet linked to in the description below if you'd like more details, as well as my cost analysis that I've broken down that shows my spending, which equates to, spoiler alert, $5 a day. And I made sure to evaluate my weight in comparison to my BMI or body mass index, so I knew that I wasn't getting too skinny and I was moving in a good positive direction for my height. Day one, four hour feeding window. I had coffee and water throughout the day and I had a protein shake, delicious. And I had four yogurts, calorie count and cost. And days two, four and six are all the same. Day three, four hour feeding window again. I had a different protein shake because I did not want to get bored. I had some shrimp and some cilantro, some parsley, and I know this is kind of sounding like not that great, but the shrimp was boiled, and what I did is I spiced it up with some white pepper, black pepper, red pepper flakes, and I added in some salsa. Something I found very interesting was that I had made 40 shrimp, but I only ate 33. And this was really sort of a standout moment for me because normally if I have something on my plate, I'm going to eat it. But this taught me that, no, you don't need to eat something's on your plate. If you're no longer hungry, you can instead wrap it up, put it in the fridge, store it for later. Because I'm full. I'm not gonna keep eating. If I'm full, why would I do that? Calorie count and cost. Day five. I ate the seven remaining shrimp, and then I had two hot dogs with cheese, calorie count, and cost. Day seven, I had the protein shake that I had on the first day. Then I also had two yogurts. And to top off this final day, I have to admit, I did get a little wild, and I had one low carb, low calorie beer to celebrate. Calorie and cost, and that was my diet. Now, if I only restricted my diet, that would not have allowed me to lose weight so quickly, which brings us to number five on the list and the most important item that allowed me to lose weight so fast water. Water was critical. I drank a gallon of water each day. Anytime I felt hungry, I would just grab a big old swig of water, down it, and I felt great. Which is really interesting because I realized that whenever I thought I was hungry, I was actually thirsty. This is because thirst is often mistaken as hunger by the brain. When you drink water, it passes through your system quickly and stretches out your stomach and tells your brain you're full. So if you think you're hungry, why don't you drink some water and see how you feel? Maybe you were just thirsty. Since you made it this far, I have a bonus item for you. The way I was able to lose so much weight in seven days was by crushing the like button whenever I found a YouTube video that was helpful and informative and really showed me a different way to live and taught me something new. Plus, it has to burn at least a tenth of a calorie, right? So crush the like button, burn a tenth of a calorie, and I'll share with you the true bonus item. Tracking my progress. I used my daily weight, BMI, and body fat percentage calculators to track my progress. This helped out immensely and also made me feel a lot better with my decision to try out this challenge while also being informed about my health status. One of the things I found really interesting was that you only need a tape measure to estimate your body fat percentage. So as long as you have that lying around, you're good to go. I used MyFitnessPal to track my calorie count over the course of the week. It does help if you have difficulty estimating the calorie count that you're ingesting and if you want to be very meticulous with all of your 
nutrients that you're putting into your body. And it's a really great free app. As a recap, these are the key methods that I use to lose as much weight as possible in seven days. Coffee, extreme fasting, exercise, low carb, high protein, low calorie diet, water, and tracking progress. Now, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Feel free to follow me on Instagram, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And remember, when you crush the like button, you crush it in life. Thank <laughs> you.